Good morning, friends. Sina Solpons from Refugee Alliance Ministries in Norway again, reminding you to strengthen yourself because there is a calling upon your life. Um, and you might uh, measure, some pastors say that you might measure the importance of what you are going to do in the future by the level of hardship that you have to go through now. So whatever hard situation you're going through, maybe you should look at it differently and think, hmm, maybe someone evil is trying to stop me from walking with God 100% so that I can uh, spread his love and his justice and his peace in this world. Hmm. Let us not be fooled, my sisters and brothers. Um, God has a plan and it will surely come to pass also in your life. Uh, today is Friday and today is a day uh, where many of my friends are seeking God, uh, especially Muslims, but also others because now the weekend starts, we have more time and many are seeking God, praying and uh, going to meetings, trying to hear from God. And it's good because our lives are not just about eating, drinking, sleeping, waking up, eating, drinking, sleeping. There is something more to life. Um, our lives are very void, shallow, if, um, if you don't even get the spiritual dimension. So this is a good time to seek God. And whoever calls upon the name of the Lord uh, shall be saved. And he will not chase away everyone who calls upon him in truth but that's the only requirement it requires that we call upon him in truth from a sincere heart then he will answer <clears throat> and uh, I just spoke with someone the other day who said I cannot understand this thing about the cross there are two things I can't understand um, I can't understand why you love to show the cross because it's something uh, humiliating for Christians. Jesus was killed there and I said hmm for us it's very different. When I see the cross of course I know it's a torture uh, equipment uh, and it was painful for Jesus to die there but I know but he is God. He is God incarnated in this body. Uh, just like Muslims think that the word of God was incarnated in Quran, uh, we think that the word of God was incarnated in Jesus. He is the word of God. He is God. <laughs> He's not a person. He's God. Uh, and when uh, he hung on the cross, he could have called upon legions and legions of angels uh, to fight for him. Or he could just have done as he did at the creation of the world, say, be light. <laughs> he, can, he could have jumped off the cross if he wanted. It was not the nails that kept Jesus to the cross. It was not defeat. It was love that kept him to the cross. And I, I have seen that it was love for me that kept him to the cross. He could have walked down if he wanted, but he didn't want that. He wanted to endure that so that he could die, so that his holy blood could cleanse me from all my sins. And we sin even without thinking, you know, even I can't stay even one day. I don't think anyone can stay one day. Maybe we don't say anything bad, but we think. Maybe we don't do anything bad, but inside our mind, we do things for the wrong motives. We do it to elevate ourselves or we do it to humiliate others. And if God will let us into heaven in that way, even if he did other things that were good, that one thing would destroy heaven. Heaven would not be heaven. So we really need to be washed and changed, born again, new, new creations, like spiritual persons. And um, 
that's why the cross is so dear to us. The cross where Jesus died, it's a symbol of how much he loved us and how much he loves us and how different life is after one drop, spiritually speaking, of the blood of Jesus cleanses us and makes us a new person that can really enter heaven without destroying heaven. <laughs> so the cross is so special. It is so dear to us because it speaks about love and a certainty. Jesus says that you don't have to worry. You don't have to wonder, will I be saved on my last day? Will I be saved or not? Because it, it, we don't have to think, did I have enough time to do many enough good deeds? No, it is all because of the one thing that Jesus gave us, his record, his life. He took our life and because of that he had to die on the cross. But he gave us his life that is spotless. And um, this is like the main secret, <laughs> the main message in Christian faith. And I just wanted to share it today so that someone maybe would start to think differently about the cross, differently about Jesus. He is the word of God incarnated. Uh, differently about the last day. We can really know 100% sure if you belong to Jesus, he says, you will be saved. So we don't have to worry. I remember when I was a child, um, when I lay down to sleep, I knew that even if the last day came when I was sleeping <laughs> and the earth uh, was finished, um, judgment day, huh? I knew that I could sleep with peace because Bible says that the judge is the very same one who loves me. The one who hang on a cross, looking down on me saying, Sina, I love you. I do this for you. So there is nothing to fear because the judge of the whole world is Jesus. It is my savior. It is your savior who did all this, who endured the pain at the cross to be together with you for eternity. He will not judge you. You will be safe on the judgment day because you will see his loving eyes. Um, he has exchanged lives for you. Uh, a later day, I will uh, sing a song for you that says that it was because of my name, in my name, that he died. So I got his name. Wow. That's why I can inherit heaven. Okay. Uh, I hope that some of these things would stick to your heart and that you would start thinking about them. There is something special about Jesus. We can see it, not even in Christianity, but even in Islam, there's something special about Jesus. And I hope that you'll start to investigate what it is. What is so special about Jesus? Um, yeah, and I am wishing you a very, very good, safe and pleasant weekend. May you have peace wherever you go and may you bring peace wherever you go. If you are here in Christian Sound, welcome to church on Sunday, three o'clock for the dinner and four o'clock for the worship and uh, prayer meeting Saturday. Anyway, you are not alone. We are together. Let us pray. I thank you, Jesus that you endured the pain, the shame. You could have walked down from the cross and I thank you that you didn't do it. I ask Lord that you fill us with your love and help us love as you loved. And I pray for everyone who's listening. I pray that you open their eyes to see you and to see your love for them. I thank you that you have prepared everlasting life free of charge. And I ask, please, Lord, let people have it. 
I ask for open hearts so that the free gift can be received. In Jesus' name, Amen. My camera is always shaking when I'm praying. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so have a wonderful Friday. And from Chris and Sam, Refugee Alliance Head Office, with a lot of love, I will see you tomorrow. We are together.